Holy fuck, dude. I thought you were gonna die. Less speed. Less speed. I gotta ski more, ski better than last season, and at the same time, reduce my emissions. He went really fast. That was nice. I can taste the power in my mouth. <laughs> that was so much fun. I feel like this year is maybe a start of something. I also have these like sustainable toothbrushes, but right now I'm using a very non-sustainable one. I have the same one, but yeah, just th not with me. This is really nice actually. Yeah. It's like really soft. Yeah, I like it soft too. Yeah. Like really soft. Yeah. yeah. This is the career for this story. Jonas, Erik, Christer, and then myself on the right. My name is Nikolai. This is my face, and this is my face getting smashed by a gang of bushes. I'm okay. <laughs> I ski for a living and live for skiing. Yeah, that felt so good. The past decade, I've skied all over the world, chasing the best snow and the best mountains. With the obvious paradox being that the more I chase the snow, the more of it I melt. So this year, I wanted to run an experiment to see if I could ski better with less emissions. Here in Bergen, I'm gonna meet with Arian from Protect Our Winters, and he's also working as a climate consultant or environmental consultant for businesses. So I'm gonna see if he can do that for my skiing. Come on. Arian explained that my current footprint was hilariously big. An average Norwegian would have, let's say, roughly 13 tons of CO2 emissions per year. We found your emissions to be something around 40. And 77% were due to transport. So the first rule would be to travel less. And that seemed to be the theme of it. Less of everything. I mean, in reality, the easiest way to cut my emissions would be to just do nothing. But the whole reason I wanted to do this, aside from saving the coral reefs, coastal populations, farmlands, and preventing mass migration, potentially destabilizing the entire global community, was to be able to shred forever. So for this experiment to be a success, I need to also ski, and ski better than last season. Or as Arian said, experience more. And the Norwegian skiing community will decide by popular vote at the Free Fleet Film Tour in Oslo this fall comparing every air, turn, and line to decide the fate of the experiment. So to be sure of success, first thing this November, I jumped on a flight to Canada and launched the biggest cliff I could find. Slough racing by me in the air, roaring almost as loud as the crowds would this fall as I stomp. No. I conveniently set the starting point to the experiment to after that intercontinental trip. So I can't use any of those clips in Oslo this fall. The first thing I did do was to put on my recycled Gore-Tex, sort out my recycling, convert my home to clean energy from Gudbrandsdal and the Ski, fire up the I-3 and chase snow in the most obvious location. My backyard. First morning. It's is snowing like over a week. Yeah, but it'll be sweet because there's two hours of sort of light and it's south facing, so it'll be all red. Oh yeah. And the terrain is sick. December spines or December rocks, we'll see. With minimal snowfall and the sun that never rises midwinter, I've always left Tromsø to go skiing. But my childhood friends, Erik and Kristel, have spent a lot of winters up here. I've kind of been stuck up here. Been here all my life. It can be really good, the snow. I think it, it might be powder actually. You think so? Like powder-ish, but it's really tricky because you don't have any sun. So you need headlamps and you need to start really early. I'm pretty confident that there's better snow in the cool R than on East End. Yeah, I think so. Like more protected. They're kick-ass snowboarders. And this year, they've dropped everything to send. Hey guys, do you have any more work this winter? Nope. No. What about girlfriends? Nope. No. I've never done anything big there. Christer comes from a freestyle background. He joined me like three years ago. And then he just took the back entry thing really fast. Dropping in three, two, one. Faster than anyone I've seen. 
and he also likes to go fast. <laughs> so it's really fun to ride with him. Nikolai in three, two, one, drop. Come on, pissed, pissed tread. <laughs> what does it look like? regular Norwegian strong muscle dude. <laughs> he puts so much power into his riding. It's crazy watching him ride. Whoa. 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 Holy. Whoa. Oh shit. <sighs> dude. <Wow. laughs> that was so much fun. That was crazy. Crazy fun, but it won't do for the vote in Oslo. And I burned 37 kilos of CO2 riding a wind buffed couloir. While the i3 is clean, the sleeping quarters, Obi Van, runs a thirsty diesel engine and is heated with propane trucked all the way up here, making it harder to cut emissions when riding far from the house. There's a whiff of snow in the air, and we keep hunting. Look at that thing. It's so narrow. Okay. We kind of went for it, like. The conditions weren't perfect. It looks pretty sketchy. It's pretty, it snows pretty hard. But we had to check it out, like discover how it was. I asked him, are you gonna charge this or just ride it controlled? Like, yeah, I'm gonna charge and ride it controlled, so. Colin, you the ball. Lidt nervous. Yeah, a little nervous, Lidt nervous, I'm ready. Stay safe, ride hard. He went really fast. Shit. Fuck. I'm okay, but my ski popped off. Uh, <laughs> Fuck. I could have been neck deep in Japan, but the boys are 100% behind the project. What would you do if you had my kind of budgets? I would definitely go to Alaska and do hell skiing. <laughs> and I can't let them down. Okay, I'm ready to go again. Exciting. <laughs> like the snow is really variable, Christian. So take care when you come down. Here we go again. 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 Yeah, Chris said. Woo! Hey! Woo! Holy moly, dude. Fuck. So that was spicy. You threw on that? Yeah. Oh, fi fun. We pretty much nailed that in terms of difficult terrain, but we still need to find good snow to be able to ride well. got really warm in Tromsø, so now we're here in Tamil, where it's colder. You're in the clear. Depends if there's enough snow, it looks pretty bushy down here. <laughs> Just gonna have to find some landings and see what happens. Pretty different from Canada, probably. Yeah, pretty different from Canada, but it'll be fun.
Last season, I didn't ride that much with Nikolai, but this season I've been pretty impressed because he actually stepped it up a little bit, I think. And that's pretty hard when you're at that level. So I guess climate wise that was the easy part because it didn't really go far from home. You can really burn a lot of fuel. But I'm not sure about the riding yet if that's good enough to be it last year. So stay tuned for the next chapter. This layer was the fresh snow, which released pretty easily. It means that everything is fucked now. So I think basically it could be a good time to pack up and leave, head south. <laughs> 